Hi Intune friends! In the previous video we created some compliance policies. In this video we're going to create some configuration profiles. So as you see here it's empty for iOS and iPadOS. I enrolled mine as a personal device and not as a corporate or so I, I can have less applied settings. So you see here um, settings that apply to all enrollment types, there are a few, but most and most fun are for device enrollment and automatic automated device enrollment, which means supervised. So mine is a user enrollment. So I can't I can create all these settings, but I will not be able to verify on my device. With that said, you hopefully have a device enrollment if you are in a company environment. If you manage, you can have personal also. That's uh, pretty cool just to uh, give some extra service. But uh, uh, to get full usage and management, you have to have it uh, device enrolled and corporate. Okay, enough about that. Let's create uh, two policies here and we can create one update policy. So if we do new policy here, then we have two types, settings catalog, which have a bit more settings and the templates. We can start from the top settings catalog. Pretty nice, you can search on settings. So we can do this one um, lock screen footer message. So on the lock screen, we're gonna add a company message. DBN's, uh, uh, DBN's uh, latest message to um, employees. We can go next. So here we have to click on add settings. You can search on the, a lot here. So mine is under system configuration. Uh, you have pretty much, you can, uh, it's mostly restrictions, but I'm going to go for system configuration and you can just search and see if it's there. But lock screen message. So we can look lock screen uh, footnote. We could add asset tax information also. I'm not gonna add that one actually. And we cross out here. So here we can put the message displayed here. So why not say, remember GBN's uh, quiet Tuesday. That was a setting we put earlier. Uh, we show under the app session where you can put uh, on Tuesday no notifications. Um, so we can send out that. We don't use scope tag. Assignments we could add to all devices, but since we have our uh, Entra ID group with all our um, iPhones devices dynamically added, let's take that one and go next. Great. Again, this one won't apply to my device because it's a personal enrolled. But it's there. It's assigned to one, but it's not going to apply. Let's create one more. This time, let's uh, show the template. Here we have a lot of things. Um, custom, that's, for example, if Apple release a new feature that Intune don't know about, you can still add that by using custom and there are documentation how you add that. Um, we can add device restriction, the cameras and stuff, but uh, let's go with an email, create. Oh, I guess it did. Uh, configure GBN email. Email profile, standard DBM email profile, uh, profile for Office 365. Let's go next. I want exactly that. Uh, Outlook.office365.com. Let's call this one uh, GBN email account. A user attribute, we can take user's principal name, UPN name, it's usually same as the email. And the email address, why not take the primary email? Authentication mode, let's do it username and password. SSL is good. I'm gonna keep the rest default. Okay, we send that. Um, Devices, 
yeah, let's do that again to our uh, uh, Intune group here. Uh, to our iPhone group. Next. And create. So let's see if this one shows up here. Okay, so now we have one from the settings catalog, one for the email. Let's create one update policy. And that one will actually show up under here as well. And let's create the profile here. I had that concept in another uh, video. You should have the different rings. So you send updates to maybe validation first, but I'm gonna call this GBN strict security always the late latest iOS as soon as possible. Sounds like we can do an ASAP here, right? And I think that name is so descriptive, it can be the description. Then we go next. So it's actually on what I already wanted. So I want the latest, you can choose which one here. Uh, but I want the latest, latest update. And you have three different way, update at next, uh, that's the one I'm gonna show, but you can update during a scheduled time, and you can put in the UTC time and when it start and end, and you can do outside of that, but you actually get the same uh, values to choose from. But I do update, so as soon as it check in, I want it to up update to the latest. Good for security. Uh, let's add a group. We add again the same group as always. There, and we select next. And we could be doing this uh, all day long, adding more. Here, I would probably not target all. You target maybe, like I mentioned, if you test your own devices and when you see the update works good, then you schedule for the rest of the company. So if we go back here to configuration profiles, we should have three now because this update one shows up under here as well. So it shows up as the type um, software update. And I think I said that a million times now, it's not going to apply to my uh, device because it's not applicable because it's a personal enrolled device. But we can still go there. We go all devices. We click my iPhone and then we have a device configuration. Yeah, it already say not applicable and it comes down to this that it's not a supervised one. But hopefully that works for you. And I guess the other two is going to show up here uh, after a while also, probably not saying not applicable also. There are a few you can send to uh, to um, a personal enrolled also. It's these uh, settings applied to all enrollment types. So it's the setting down here. I, I'll put this uh, link in the I put this link in the description of the video. So that's how you do with device configuration. Be careful what you're, uh, <laughs> what you're configuring. In the next and the last video, we're going to look at some commands we can send to our iPhones remotely from Intune. See you there. Have a great day. Thank you very much.